Um, so the first like real um, the first time that we read an actual text that really like clicked um, was Catullus, some of Catullus's poems. It was still um, was that middle or high school. I can't remember if it was eighth or ninth grade, but at that point, it was the very small selection of Catullus poems that you could, you know, read in middle or high school and not get in trouble. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was that was a really big moment for me because it was when, even though there were plenty of times that I had read a text that had been carried forward from the ancient world, that was the first time that I was reading something in translation, um, like accessing it through the original language. But what came out of it was so... I don't want to say relatable because I don't want to compare my life to Catullus's in any way, shape, or form. But the emotional charge was so accessible. You know, what he's talking about is not... When you read something like the Iliad or the Odyssey, I mean, certainly there's plenty in there that's about how humans work, but it's not necessarily that when I read that, I think, yes, you know, going to war with the Greeks and the, the Trojans, uh, getting, you know, your, your best friend killed and dragged around a battlefield. There's so much about it that's completely of a different universe. There's so much about it that's different from our world that it's as much a historical document as it is, you know, a... a an epic and, uh, you know, engrossing story. With Catullus, it was that he was writing just about being a, a frustrated person, about, you know, not knowing how to get his relationship to work, writing about how he's just angry at people, you know, and, and, I think having this moment where I realized that, like, we have a poem that's basically just talking about how someone's annoying, and it's carried through 2,000 plus years to reach me. And that was just, like, really an incredible, like, moment where things clicked into place that, um, I thought this was really cool, that you could go back and, um, have this you know, relationship with the past um, that could give you a different way to think about it from just the, the you know, militaristic epics. And um, and the myth also was still something that I've, I've always, you know, been fascinated by. But even something that's more, you know, real than that um, was, was what really, like, hooked me. And then from there, you know, we read some Julius Caesar. I will say, not the biggest fan of reading Caesar. I know it's important. I know that uh, certainly if you're not going to read him, what are you doing? But um, that was, I mean, that was not, you know, the kind of text that necessarily like grabbed me in that same way.